everybody, I'm here with Professor Nam Tham, and uh, we own Nam Tham MMA here in Garden Grove. Awesome place, we just had an awesome training session with him, and we're going to ask him the Tiga Tactics 3, which is, um, uh, Professor, how did your journey into martial arts begin? I started martial arts at 8 years old, uh, like, uh, it was karate or Queen Dali Clan with uh, Grandmaster Hagley oh, and wow. Westminster. And then uh, from there, I, I was in high school. Three, three years. Yeah. Sophomore, junior, senior year. And then uh, I was to college. I studied jiu-jitsu at the same time. I did wrestling. Uh, I studied boxing uh, in 2003. And then I studied underground MMA fight for and it was legal in the United States. And then I by little by uh, little, built the record. For, the local, local circus and eventually got to do those fighter, all the fighters season 12, but George St. Pierre and Josh Kostin from there, I got to use. So you did traditional martial arts, did that help you later on? I thought so, I felt like uh, it gave me a lot of confidence, if, like, if, it, if it didn't work like uh, technically, you know, I still defense, I felt, I really felt confident, I really believe that it worked, and I, I think um, whatever mind you learn is probably better than anything else that I not know anything. Mm -hmm. So I felt very confident. And, and later on in your mixed martial arts career, were you able to translate any of those traditional movements into the octagon? I, I think the, the flexibility and the, the agility of karate was uh, very helpful. Um, in karate, you do like always, always, always like, kind of ambidextrous, kind of right side and left, and you switch hands. Yes, sir. And uh, I think that was you know, like you drill, you know, arm bar, and then you pull both sides out. I was very quick at it. Yeah. So, so that, that kind of made you both uh, standard and self-pop. As far as um, your students out there in the streets to defend themselves, do you give them any advice for uh, uh, taking care of themselves on the street? Definitely. Um, first thing is, um, I would suggest them if you can avoid a physical conversation, you know, just get out as safely as possible. You know, but if uh, jiu-jitsu-wise uh, versus like punching, um, I would say, um, do not get, do not get into like exchange. So a guy that doesn't know any martial, any punching, he close eye to a point, he point knock you out. But mm -hmm. he doesn't know jujitsu. You have to defend yourself, get in the tight place, take him down. If a guy really gets to the ground, and he's lost. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a fish out of water. He's there with the choke. You know, you can't scream for help. You, you just think you need to go to sleep. You know, call for. Um, Authorities. Excellent, yeah. excellent advice. And do you recommend your students carry any kind of gear or weapon with them to defend themselves? I, I, I never recommend them to. I mean, we live in Orange County. It's not that dangerous. It's not like Compton or oh, anywhere in LA or San Francisco. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty, pretty tough area. You no, know, the most part, you know, I don't carry any weapon. But I would suggest you, you, if you feel that threat, your life is that that threat, you, you should carry something. And of course, you had a big video all over the internet accepting a challenge from a traditional martial artist. Jeez, fan uh, kung fu guy, man! Like, what happened there? Dude, I, well, my one of my students brought him in, wanted to show him like you know, um, martial mixed martial arts. He wanted to learn like he wanted to compete in like Muay Thai and like that. So my student brought him in to like to show him like what sparring looks like, and uh. We just got talking, and I want to help him. Sure. And I'm like, hey, hey listen, you want you want to do um, professional Muay Thai or amateur Muay Thai? We should spar. You know, let's practice. Yeah. And he goes, and he goes, uh, no, I don't practice with gloves. I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, and I'm like, I want I want to spar with the six times gloves. He goes, no, I don't go bare knuckle. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> no, I'm like, what do you mean to go bare knuckle? He said, because the gloves slow down his movement. And then I try, I try to uh, maybe negotiate. How about we go a uh, big fat MMA gloves? You know, mm -hmm. it's, 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 I, I it's safer. And then like, uh, and then I think now at this time I feel like he's trying to intimidate me. Like, mm -hmm. No, I don't. I want to go bare knuckle. All right, All right you know what? Forget it. You want to do this? You go bare knuckle, and I'll go gloves. And I'll, we'll, we'll, I'll still spar you. Like, uh, let's go. And then we we we'll negotiate, talk back and forth. And then uh, that happened. <laughs>
friendly. You know, I'm like, going easy. And then they were like, turn it up. Like, bro, well, listen, like, you go hard, you go hard. But don't say, don't, don't say go easy. Mm -hmm. You go hard. Yeah. yeah. And now, and now we had a gun. I just took it out. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't want to. I know. And I like, another time, some guy came in. I was like, uh, hey, I want to get a spot hard here. I'm like, yeah, we can hard. And then I'll, well, I'll put you, I'll put you against some people with one of the students. He goes, no. I always fuck you. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, sure. Just why? like the movies. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, why? All right, and, like, and, he was, and he was like kind of small and skinny too. And I'm like, I'm going to mess you up. You know, <laughs> like, all right, let's go. And so I, I had like, I'm going to you know? As a martial artist myself, I'd rather come and learn from you right, rather than get my butt knocked out. So uh, that's how I am. But uh, it's interesting how yeah. some people think. Yeah, it's, 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 it's weird. I, I, I think, you know, uh, maybe the community is trying to help each other out, you know? It's absolutely. It's trying to make it grow. And it's yes, trying, to, trying to call each other out. Well, Professor, thank you for your time. Yeah, it was yeah, sweet yeah, training yeah. with you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Yeah. All right.